Hello everyone. We already know that nearly all the mass of atom resides in the center which is positively charged and this is the nucleus. The protons and the neutrons stay packed in the nucleus and the electrons revolve around the nucleus in discrete orbits or shells. Now the proton is positively charged and the electron is negatively charged but the magnitude of charge is the same. For an atom to be neutral the number of protons has to be equal to the number of electrons and that is exactly what happens. The neutrons do not have any charge. You know the total number of protons present in the nucleus of an atom is known as the atomic number of an element. The atoms of different elements have different numbers of protons. For example, all carbon atoms have 6 protons and all calcium atoms have 20 protons. Also remember the number of electrons in a neutral atom is equal to the number of protons. You know the sum of the total number of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus of an atom is known as the mass number of that element's atom. As these are present in the nucleus of an atom, the protons and the neutrons are also called nucleons. Thus, for a carbon atom which has 6 protons and 6 neutrons, the mass number is equal to 6u plus 6u that is equal to 12u. Now, if you are given the mass number and the atomic number, how to find the number of neutrons? Well, the number of neutrons is equal to the mass number minus the atomic number. And this is because the mass number is the sum of protons and neutrons and the atomic number is equal to the number of protons in an atom. Now how to represent an atom using the symbol of an atom, its mass number and atomic number? Well, it's written as the symbol of element with mass number at the top left of the symbol that is as superscript and the atomic number is written at the bottom left as the subscript. Hence, calcium atom is represented as Ca which is the symbol for the element calcium with 40 as the superscript and 20 as the subscript. Here, 40 is the mass number and 20 is the atomic number. Also, the nitrogen atom is represented as the symbol N with 14 as the superscript and 7 as the subscript where 14 is the mass number and 7 is the atomic number of element nitrogen. You know neutrons are present in the nucleus of all atoms except for hydrogen. How? The sum of number of protons and the number of neutrons in an atom of an element is the mass number of that element. Here the mass number of hydrogen atom is 1 and the atomic number is 1 which means the number of protons is 1. Now the number of neutrons is equal to mass number minus atomic number which is equal to 1 minus 1 that is 0. Hence 0 neutrons are present in an atom of hydrogen. Now what does the symbol stand for? Well, AR is the symbol used to represent argon and 18 is its atomic number and 40 is its mass number. Also, the number of electrons is equal to number of protons. So, there are 18 electrons in an argon atom. So, to sum up what we learned today, what is the atomic number of an element? The atomic number of element is defined as the total number of protons present in the nucleus of an atom. 
all atoms of an element have the same atomic number. And what is mass number? The mass number is defined as the sum of the total number of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus of an atom. So that was all about the mass number and the atomic number.